Hello everyone and welcome to the Doggy Goo Review Part 6, part of LoftInSpace.com. Thank you everyone for joining us, and we thank you especially if you've been keeping track with 1 through 5. We've come a long way with Philbin's allergies, that's what this whole thing is about. Uh, we have uh, got him off the prednisone as we all know, and uh, we had him skin tested, which we found out that he is uh, mildly allergic to velvet grass and a few... Uh, uh, dust mites especially, uh, but not really a lot of stuff that you're going to find around uh, as far as uh, seasonal allergies. His are more the year-round, we're finding out. So uh, we got Raven here. We're doing this a little differently. Uh, normally we do a video, but we're just going to do pictures this time. And we wanted to focus on the audio this time, make it sound really nice, crisp, and clear. So uh, Raven, why don't you say hello everyone, and what are your thoughts so far uh, during this whole experience? Hi everybody! Um, well, I think we're pretty comfortable with where Philbin is at right now. Wouldn't you say so, Odie? I think it's getting better. I think we still have a ways to go, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results that we're seeing so far. However, I, I, I'm not going to call, hey, it's a miracle and we're cured and all that. What, what, do you, what do you think? Do you think we can call it a cure yet? No, uh, Daigaku is not supposed to be like this miracle cure overnight. No, it takes a long time to develop. Uh, we're going to get into Philbin's blood test results later on, and uh, they are very telling of kind of possibly the impact that Doggy Goo is already having on Philbin. So we're going to keep going uh, here, and we're just going to be talking um, about uh, Philbin right now and uh, what, how we're feeling emotionally about Philbin and kind of where we think we need to go from here. Um I'm going to go first so Raven can get an idea what I'm talking about because I don't, I, we don't rehearse these things very much. No, we don't. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it. We want it to be raw and real and we want it to be personal, um, very personal message. So my view on this is I'm very happy. I know that the allergies aren't as bad for Philbin as they used to be. Um, I just wish that we didn't have to go through it. It's it's a very painful process. It, I worry about it. I, I lose sleep over it at night sometimes um, because I'm not sure what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know what, how Philbin's going to be doing. Some days he's more itchy than others, and other days he's, you know, fine. You can't even tell he's got an allergy. He doesn't scratch, doesn't itch, doesn't do anything, um, which is good considering what we used to be, and I used to be constantly, Philbin, stop scratching, stop scratching, quit it. No. You know, I used to be constantly barking at him like that, and I, I don't find myself doing that. So maybe that's a good thing. I think I'm going to be happy if we can get to next fall and not have a major ear infection this year, and we don't have fur missing and other infections throughout the body like in his paws. So Raven, what do you think? How do you think we've come along since we started uh, this great goo adventure back last December? I think we've come a long way. I mean, it's... Like you said later on, we're going to find out how well Doggy Goo has been working for Philbin. Um, <laughs> there's so much to say, really, in a short amount of time. I don't know if I can sum it all up this time. Do you think we have a long ways to go, or do you think the the light at the end of the tunnel is very close? I think we still have a ways to go. I mean, Doggy Goo is just in its infancy right now as we speak, but hopefully um, it, you know, we'll see results and, um... <laughs> okay, so uh, at the end of this also, we're going to be giving you guys the promo code as we've made it pro public to get $5 off your next order Doggy Goo with DoggyGoo.com and uh, get your pet started on the path to allergy-free... Uh, being allergy free, um, we we just believe that everyone should give it a shot, and uh, it hopefully works. We're finding out whether or not it's working for Philbin. We're not backing it. We're not saying it doesn't work either. We're just uh, offering a fair opinion, and we want to give people a try. And we don't want them to have to pay full price. We want them to uh, experience it for themselves and and maybe do their own review. And and if you do have a review about doggy goo and you're watching this, you've used it. Please go to loftinspace.com forward slash doggy goo and um, tell us what you think. Either they're in our forum, our, our product review section, or just send us an email at support at loftinspace.com, and we'll be happy to pass it along. And We just want everyone's support. I mean, this really isn't a money thing. We just want everyone to 
be happy. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to read the email that Dr. Kristen sent me today uh, regarding Philbin's allergy. Um, and it goes a little something like this. I'm going to kind of go away from the microphone here just a little bit so I can get a little closer to read, but you still should be able to understand me pretty good. All right, it goes like this. Uh, Odie, glad to hear Philbin is happy and doing well. As I mentioned on the phone, his allergy test came back very low with only very mild positives to molds and mites. All trees, grasses, and weeds are negative, which may be explained by either one, lack of allergies to begin with, though his history of allergy symptoms refutes this, or two, the doggy goo is doing its job and the allergic response is blunted. Mi uh, hindsight is twenty twenty, but I wish we had allergy test results prior to starting goo. Please let me know if this has or if he has any increased allergic signs in the spring and summer. As we discussed, we could retest him to check for seasonal variations, not likely to be significant changes based on our results, or it could be due to increased humidity on the skin and in the ears, as well as increased numbers of molds and mites in the environment with the increased humidity. Take care and have a great time in California. And uh, she was wishing us well because, well, on March 15th, we're going to be heading out to California, have a little vacation with Philbin and his puppy raiser. So we're kind of looking forward to that. We'll be out of the office a little bit on that one, but uh, we'll be sure and be able to respond to your emails just the same. Uh, it may take us a little longer, but anyway, we'll get to that later on when it gets closer. We're still a month out. I uh, wanted to read that. So that's very good news. That means that within even two weeks because the skin test showed positives to like the velvet grass and uh, firebush uh, trees or firebush I guess is just generally what's called to now two weeks later not even having any seasonal um, allergies at all um, it kinda says a lot so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna be talking about Philbin's um, uh, fur, and we do have pictures still to show you. We've been kind of doing slideshows of our professional portraits just to so have something to look at while we talk because um, YouTube is kind of weird. They all video, it's kind of hard to just podcast on it. But um, yeah, we've got pictures still to show you, and we're going to get to those right now so we can look at them here on our screen. Uh, so this is the front left paw that we're showing on the screen right now. Uh, it's it's doing better. Actually, the coloration in his paws is great. It's a very good sign that he's not licking. Granted, in Iowa right now, we are like in the teens for highs. It's very, very cold. Therefore, very low humidity, hardly any room for those uh, the molds and everything to grow. They really need that humidity, and it's very low. We're like in the 20, like 20% 20 humidity outside even, and we do try and keep it relatively low. We got a lot of static electricity in the house, but at least we know it's the humidity is low. In the summertime, I think is when we're going to really have to worry about it. Moving on to the front right paw, uh, still the same. His front right was always better than the left, as we discussed in previous mentions. Um, not a lot of fur loss still to report. It's growing back, and the allergy test site where we did it is growing back. He's not terribly itchy. The other thing that helps with allergies that we're finding out firsthand, and also it is recommended, brush your dog as often as possible. Get that loose fur off, because that's not going to do anything but make him itch more. So definitely groom your dog, especially if you're a big dog that sheds a lot like a Labrador or like a German Shepherd or a Golden Retriever. Definitely make sure that you groom them uh, every day. It, it's definitely going to help, especially if they do have allergy res results because you're getting all that dead skin off and you're getting the fur off. And uh, it, it's just good health and it promotes good fur health too, along with a good diet. Um, there, we did not test for any food allergies. Uh, so we can't rule it out, but hi it, we highly doubt it because Philbin's flare-ups are in the spring and fall, obviously corresponding with the seasonal. He's on the same food all year round, therefore kind of hard to believe food is playing a part in it, but we could test for that later on. Uh, moving on to the belly, uh, kind of going along with it, he's still missing a lot of fur down there, a little bit more than what I like. Granted, he is shedding right now. He is very much in getting into his shedding season. We had a mild winter up until now, and... Uh, kind of made him trick his body into thinking, hey, we need to shed your fur, get your summer coat in early. No, either that or he's trying to tan because he knows we're going to California. I'm going to say it's just he thinks it's summer and he's hot and therefore the body sheds fur. Anyway, that's about all we got. Um, we're going to put the promo code up now. Goo, Goo 5 BFF 6, I believe. I'm going to pull that number up so I can see. 
Yep, Goo Five B FF Six, all caps. It's on your screen right now. Go to doggygoo.com, click the Buy Goo, cl click how many containers you'd like of it, put that uh, promo code in the box, and uh, you'll get five dollars off, and you can get your dog started on it. Um, one tub lasts about uh, a month to three months, depending on the size of the dog, and also depending on how the dosing needs to be done. I don't have time in the video to go through it, but I promise you, if you go to doggygoo.com, all the instructions are there. More information about the ingredients are there. It is a 100% natural peanut butter tasty treat. Um, and, and to give you some perspective, uh, allergy shots, it's $70 uh, uh, for the doggy goo for a container, $69.95 to be exact. And allergy shots can range anywhere from a couple hundred bucks to, I believe, as much as 400 depending on your DBM, depending on you know what they have to formulate for the dog. So, And even then, shots only have about a 70 to 80% chance of actually working. So there's no foolproof way. It definitely give this... Uh, uh, shot or give this uh, product a shot because you're gonna have pet compliance. Shots are not pretty to give to dogs. They're they don't feel good to them. They don't like it. Why not give them a tasty treat? That's also good for them and also promotes even if your dog doesn't have allergies, it promotes better immune system health overall, promoting good gut bacteria from the inside out, as we like to say. And they'll just look it up. So anyway, make sure you subscribe to us or register on our, li on our site, loftinspace.com forward slash doggy goo. Uh, be a part of our Facebook page, just search for Loft in Space, and of course on YouTube, the Loft in Space channel, subscribe. And uh, when you register for our site, you can take part in our forum, and you can even do that without registering. Also, you'll be the first to know when we post new uh, posts to here and uh, keep up with all the latest stuff. And we thank you very much for being a part of this. Raven, do you have any final thoughts? Because I know I've been doing a lot of talking here. Nope, I'm good. You're good? Are you happy? Yep. All right, that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you in a couple weeks, but we're definitely going to be doing a lot more uh, posts just online this next week. So make sure you subscribe to our email and you can get all the latest news. Take care, guys. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye-bye.